all the places that could be colonized in the solar system, Mars is the one that is the most like Earth. While Venus is much more Earth-like in terms of gravity, Mars has a workable atmosphere, 38% the gravity of Earth, and a day lasting 24 hours and 39 minutes. Humans settling the red planet would feel much more at home than any other potential outpost in space. On top of this, the temperature of Mars is similar to Antarctic conditions here on the Earth, with its coldest at negative 87 degrees Celsius, and sometimes reaching as high as negative 5 degrees Celsius. Despite this, the first Martians would also face some serious threats to their health. Mars lacks a proper magnetosphere. Because of this, ultraviolet light can penetrate down onto any would-be colonists. Cancer and brain damage would be much more prevalent in the Martians. With only 38% the gravity of the Earth, Martians may have long-term health problems not yet well understood. How can any would-be travelers reach Mars? NASA is looking to travel to Mars using a spacecraft called Orion sometime in the 2030s. By using a rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS for short, it would be powerful enough to get humans to Mars. A journey to Mars with our current chemical-based rocket systems would take up to nine months to reach the Red Planet. While some undeveloped rockets, such as nuclear propulsion, could bring the travel time down to as little as two weeks, assuming chemical rockets are used, the problems associated with the long travel then arise. In studies conducted on Earth, mice exposed to radiation levels equivalent to that of a Mars journey made the mice suffer from confusion, and they also became disorientated. Dangerous symptoms for a crew of travelers who need to be focused at all times. Despite this, any problems regarding cosmic rays will have to be overcome using a combination of better shielding to protect the astronauts and a series of pills to help minimize any radiation damage to the body. If the journey could be made, landing on the planet and setting up a base could then be achieved. Currently, NASA's plan for a mission to Mars is to explore the surface and set up a semi-permanent base for around 540 days and then come back to the Earth. Most talks of a permanent settlement come from a few private companies. NASA may choose to set up a permanent base within the decades following, should the Mars exploration mission succeed. However, these bases may come just before halfway through this century. Are there others working towards a mission for Mars? There are many private companies who are working towards this goal. One of these companies aiming for settlement comes from SpaceX, whose founder, billionaire Elon Musk, has said in interviews multiple times that he does plan to colonize Mars within the next few decades. A spaceflight system called the Mars Colonial Transport will be used to take humans to Mars. Elon Musk is not one to make a promise without any substance. His company has already made several successful rockets and space capsules, including the Falcon 9 and the Dragon V2, which is set to supply the International Space Station. The first Martians would receive help from the Earth, and permanent base would likely be partially constructed by robotic rovers before their arrival. Once humans settle the Red Planet, it would also mean humanity is no longer facing total extinction from cosmic threats, provided the base could become self-sufficient and expanding. Within a few decades, the decision whether or not to terraform Mars, that is, to make it more Earth-like, would have to be made when the colony becomes large enough to transform the planet. Should Mars be left in its natural state, or should humans bring life to the cold wasteland? These are questions that may be debated in the coming decades. Several other historic achievements will occur on Mars. The first humans born on the red planet would be the first true Martians. We would then need to include the planet of birth on any future birth certificates. A space elevator may be built on Mars first, as the gravity of the red planet is lower. In the long run, the process of terraforming Mars will likely take many centuries, and when it is completed, the red planet may appear blue and green morbid. But what if we decide that Venus is closer by, and a cheaper option is set up a colony in the skies?